Hi, it's Catherine from Building Strong Families here. Now, we really love the book, The Big Bag of Worries in our team. Um, it's a book by Virginia Ironside, um, and we've actually read it for you uh, on another video if you wanted to take a look at that. But this is a really easy exercise then to do, to think about, just like Jenny in the story, what's in our bag of worries and make it easy to talk about. Okay, so as you all know by now, I am not the world's best artist, but that's all right, because I'm doing my best, so we'll give it a try. So I'm going to draw a bag of worries like that. Or you could actually make you know, a little pretty bag and write them on and put them inside the bag. That's another really good idea. But this is dead easy to do with pen and paper. And then we're going to think about what our worries actually are. A bit like the old lady in the story, helping your child or the young person to unpack the worries that they have in their bag. So it could be that they've got... Um, one spiky little worry there that at this moment in time is probably COVID-19. Could be another little worry there that is around um, missing friends. It could be another worry there this has been quite common actually amongst lots of the families and the children that we've spoken to around schoolwork because it's really tricky at the moment to try and concentrate when you're at home on schoolwork. Um, and then we just add one more because you can add as many as you want and they can be coloured in and different shapes, different sizes about, um, let's say sleep. Okay. And then however many worries has been put in the bag, you can then start to talk about whether or not that worry is your child's or your young person's worry to think about and to own or whether that's actually something that someone else has got to worry about. But it's really, really important to acknowledge it, not to poo-poo it, because this is important to your child. This is something that's bothering them and causing them worry and stress. So to them, it's going to be a huge deal to talk about this. So for instance, it could be that your child is worried about friends. So you could talk through them with your child about, okay, so how can we keep it, you know, it could be that they're worried they're not speaking to their friends. So how can they keep in touch? And together you can come up with great solutions like, I don't know, like writing an old fashioned letter, sending them a drawing, talking on FaceTime. You'll have loads of really good ideas about how to deal with that. And then with big things like COVID-19, obviously, then we'd be talking about actually that the people that worry need to worry about that is the people in the government, the doctors, the nurses, and that actually we're doing our bit by staying home and staying safe and reminding them that actually it is eventually going to go away one day. And then you carry that on then with each of those bags of worries. If there are particular worries that are coming up for your children that you would like some help to talk to them about, then please comment on the post below um, and we will direct message you back with some ideas or if there's a common theme, then we'll obviously share some ideas about how to cope with that. So in the meantime, hope that's been helpful um, and stay at home, stay safe, look after each other and we are all going to get through this together. Okay, take care, bye.